Um, okay. How you guys doing so far? <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm worried now. Do I have to be a very smart <laughs> comic book person or what? Like, yeah, man, oh, with shit. me, you got to know your what stuff. What do I need man. to know? Yeah, I'm going to ask you some insane questions. Okay. I'm in this, in this one issue on the third page, what happened in Nick Fury? No. Um, right. No, okay. So, so, for the most part, I think all eyes are kind of on you guys, you know, especially like, and, and with Tom Holland. Because people are looking at Nick Fury and they're saying, okay, so Nick Fury got dusted, right? Mm -hmm. He's been out of the picture for the last five years. But now he's back. Mm -hmm. Like, what plans does Nick Fury have going forward? Because I feel like the wheels turn. Well, he has no plan right now. He's trying to figure out, you know, what exactly happened. He kind of knows who's gone. Mm -hmm. uh, he does know that Tony Stark left him sort of a directive that this kid is the next thing, you know, mm -hmm. that I'm leaving everything I know to him because I believe he's the one. And I got to kind of get him from thinking he's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to, no, dude, you're the world savior. You got to drop this whole, you know, you got to grow up. Yeah. And he wants to be a teenager. So mm -hmm. it's that. Yeah. I'm that annoying relative that's like, grow up. <laughs> Take some responsibility. <laughs> Have a like, baby. Get a wife. That's, <laughs> what? Have a baby. Get a wife. Fact, get a rip. Well, Come on. He's 16 up. years old, man. Grow up. Get a job. You have a job. To, he was talking to me. Yeah. He this, talking, yeah. Oh, he wasn't? This, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. The Spider-Man oh. thing's never going to pay off. Get a real job. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, I think that'd actually be hilarious if that were in the movie. If, like, Nick Fury said that to Spider-Man. Can you monetize this superhero thing? At a 16 year old. <laughs> Can we monetize that? <laughs> Can we get, like, brands yeah, going, yeah, marketing, yeah, right. all that yeah. kind of good stuff? <laughs> um, okay, so, so Jake Gyllenhaal. That's my name. <laughs> I'll try not to wear it out. Um, Mysterio was amazing. Uh, if you could fight any other Avenger, who would it be? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't really fight any of the uh, Avengers uh, because in this one, Peter and I fight together, thankfully, because Nick Fury joins us up because we have to go fight the elemental creatures. Mm -hmm. So, in that sense, I don't know if I really want to fight any of the other Avengers. I think you and Doctor Strange could have a pretty dope yeah, you know, little battle because it'd be like, what's real and what's not? Yeah, whose cape is cooler? <laughs> They're the same color. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What's that? What's that? That's true. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Where are we? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be kind of awesome. I think it'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, like having Doctor Strange show up and face off against Mysterio. Yeah. Well, it depends on who we're gonna fight. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, mean, I said I mean, earlier, we need like a new orator because Tony's gone now. Okay. Well, then, well, then set it up. Like, like Nick Fury That's, gets bored. That new Avengers speechwriter. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, if it's, if it's like Nick Fury's bored, he's like, you know what, I think it'd be cool to just see Mysterio fight someone. So then, like, like are you going to pick the Incredible Hulk? Just, like, go fight the Incredible Hulk. Let's just see what happens. I think it'd be fun. Could be. Could be. We can get some traction out of that. <laughs> yeah. see, okay. See, uh, you got a girl? Yeah? Want to meet Captain Marvel? Like, grow up, Mysterio. Get a family and some kids. Get a family and some kids. <laughs> Actually, Mysterio lost his family in the other Earth that he came from. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. Well, that's, that was going to be my next question. Is, is for the character of Mysterio, obviously looking at, at from what we've seen with the trailers and everything, like he's a dynamic character. Yeah. So can you tell us about that dynamic nature of Mysterio? Well, I mean, it starts with the, co with the costume. I mean, that is pretty dynamic in itself. It has a lot of different elements to it. It actually borrows from a lot of different ideas from a lot of the Avengers mm -hmm. in an interesting way. But um, he's dynamic, I think, because he's smart, mm -hmm. you know? Um, he has powers, but I think his intelligence is his ultimate superpower so um and i think that's really i think he when he first arrives he's very confused about where he is like there are a lot of things about this earth though they share a lot of different things there are cultural things they don't share there are obviously superheroes that they don't share he doesn't really know where he is so mm -hmm. he's kind of learning as he goes in a lot of different ways um but i just think he's he's fascinating and he's got a great name mm -hmm. yeah I've, I've always kind of dug the name Mysterio. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, kind of a fun fact. In the comics, Mysterio actually, well, I don't know if I should say that because it's kind of a, not really a spoiler for the movie, but it's kind yes. of a crazy thing. Um, in the comics, Mysterio is like, he's a straight up villain. And there's one story called Old Man Logan where he tricks Wolverine into killing all the X-Men. It's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> there's always the future. There's always the future. I <laughs> yeah. would want to see that, man. I think, it, I think it'd be awesome. I'm sorry. I'm a fan first and like a YouTuber second. Not a problem. So, yeah. So it's, it's, it's awesome to it's me. It's great. 
Yeah. So, so for the character of Nick Fury, um, Iron Man's out of the picture, right? Like, there's no more Tony Stark, Vendor's Endgame, all that's done. Um, do you see Nick Fury now that he's back, looking at Peter Parker, who we can just kind of assume is probably lost without Tony Stark being there to kind of guide him and mentor him. Do you see him as being almost kind of like a mentor of sorts to Peter? Kind of, not necessarily becoming a full-on new Iron Man, but someone who can kind of lead him in the direction of being a new hero? I guess, maybe we'll call him an influencer more so than a mentor. How about really that? Someone who uses like Instagram to help well, Spider-Man. Yeah, like. you know, I mean, just <laughs> kind of lead him this way, that way. We're assessing other people. We're in the universe, you know, mm -hmm. talking about what's going on. I mean, I, he's been he's been gone like I've been gone, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm really trying to figure out what my new normal is in in uh, terms of who I need to recruit, what I need to do, and how I need to go about it, and yeah. what's happening. Uh, what I love about Nick Fury is though, it's like he's like you have a job to do. Why can't you just get it done? Yeah, I love that about him. Right. And that's why I mean, mentor or not, there are so many things that that everyone has to deal with. And he's got a big threat coming on the earth, and he's like, "How could you not do it?" And it's a totally logical thing. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like you got Nick Fury who like ran Shield, right? So it's like this needs to be done. Somebody somewhere gets it done, and suddenly, like, you know, after Winter Soldier, we saw all that. Like, there is no Shield or any of that stuff. So it's kind of like you know. So, so my final question here, all right, who is your all's favorite Avenger, and why is it Thor? I thought you. I thought you <laughs> did you just yeah. say what I thought you? Yeah, you I just, just said I just said what you think. Okay, I said. all right, cool. Well, that was a great interview. So. Yeah, but, <laughs> but for real, for true, like who's who's your all's favorite Avenger? My favorite Avenger? Yeah. You can't say yourself. Why not? Well, I'm not an Avenger. Well, I mean, kind of. Like you kind of lead them a little yeah, bit, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. sort of. I'm just a master manipulator. Um, <laughs> Natasha is always my favorite because I recruited her. You know, she was around, even though they didn't let me. I'm, so far, I'm not in her origin story movie, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's uh, she's like the person that I was closest to mm -hmm. in that group. You know, and you know, all the others are fine, but yeah. you know, she's like my personal. Hmm. I don't know if there, if I have a favorite. It's sort of split between two, and I'm thinking about it. I'm sort of tossing my. There are certain things I like about all of them. I do love Doctor Strange. I do love all the things in Doctor Strange and what Doctor Strange can do. He's not really kind of blowing my mind. He's just an interloper. Okay, well then. Uh, he didn't have a he didn't have a card and he didn't pay dues. I should then I should say something like Iron Man. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. All right, well, gentlemen, I, I, said Thor, I said Thor too many times. Yeah, right. <laughs> too many interviews. Right. I can't say Carol Danvers, you know, because she's not an event. She's yeah. something else. She's something beyond all. Yeah. I, I really think I know what they're going to do with Carol Danvers. But anyway, thanks, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. It's cool, right? Yeah, man. It it's was... like so, that's that's so just from the comics to get to be that graphic and abstract. Is, yeah. Well, that was, It's a reason to make a movie. That kind of goes on the first question is, is like, this is your second Spider Man film, right? Yeah. So, directing the first one, learning from that, Going into the second one, what do you think was like the biggest thing that you picked up from, or at least the most important thing you think you picked up from the first one? <laughs> That's a good question, and it's a funny thing because on the first movie I had never done something of that scale before, so I didn't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And with that comes um, like a, a little bit of freedom, where you're like so naive, you're you're not even sure what you should be worrying about. Mm -hmm. And so the second movie, I, I knew everything that I was supposed to be worrying about, and so I was a lot more worried the whole time. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you know, you feel like you really have to get everything right. Yeah. Well, that's, that's see, to me, that's really interesting. Because I, I, I look at that whole concept, and I'm like, okay. Like, you look at the first film, you look at the second film, you see this, like, gradual progression of Peter. And then you bring in somebody who's, like, as dynamic as Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Like, what was that like, bringing, like, a hugely talented actor into a pool of existing hugely talented actors and actresses. Uh, well, I think it was really exciting for Jake. Like, it, we really get along and, and, and uh, talked about the, the, the multiple layers to his character. And, and I, think it was, um, I think it was fun for him to, uh, to be in this crazy heightened world of the MCU and to uh, really be able to just sort of show off what he can do because he's mm -hmm. so, so talented. Um, it's great. As a director, there's nothing better than working with great actors because they make everything so, so easy. <laughs> yeah. So here's my question. With all the, the new properties and everything coming mm -hmm. in, if you could direct any one of them, 
Oh, Which man. one would it be? I don't even want to say. It. Like, no, always just Spider Man. Like, I have to be loyal to Spider Man. Really? He's so right, you're just going to stick with right Spider Man? He's right there. <laughs> he was right there. Yeah. Watching. Yeah. Watching over a watching over a magazine. Yeah, but I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, there's there's a whole bunch of, of possibilities there. But I'm 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 curious because it seems like you mesh so well with the Spider Man concept. Sorry, that book is the wrong way around. I mean, I guess. like if you look at it the other way around. It's backwards. That should be the cover. Should it? I have no idea. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know what Italian magazines are. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's universal. Wow. Sorry. But, uh, anyway. Yeah. No. No. You're that good. Out. <laughs> <laughs> but no. I mean, that's 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 just kind of my thing because you really seem to mesh with like Spider-Man. You are really all about Sorry. that it's magazine. Super, super distracting. I'll, I'll, I'll pay attention. <laughs> no, okay. you're good, man. Action. Action. Go. Okay. No, but you 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 really mesh well with like the Spider-Man concept. I, I mean, I always felt like I could relate to Spider-Man. There's something so great about him where he just seems like a regular, regular person. And mm -hmm. no matter no matter what he's going through, it's it's he didn't ask for any of this. And so he's always juggling his responsibilities with his personal life. And just something so relatable about Spider-Man that I, I, um, I don't know, it's really, it's really inspiring to me. Yeah. Well, for the character of Nick Fury, he was more of like a serious character. Right? Like traditionally yeah. over the course of the MCU, he's largely been mostly a serious character. In this film, there's more comedic elements. Yeah. I mean, well, he's put in an unusual situation, uh, definitely a situation he's never been in before, and that just inherently lends itself to some funny moments. I mean, he's the guy who's supposed to know everything. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the guy who created the Avengers. He's the guy who's he's the watcher on the wall. But yeah. um, for the first time in his life, you know, he's been gone for five years, and he's trying to catch up. And yeah. that's, you know... He's pissed off about it, but that lends itself to some funny, funny moments. Yeah, man. Well, okay, this is kind of my last and, and kind of my big question here. Is is Spider-Man Far From Home was the follow-up to Avengers Endgame. And I think a lot of people are looking at this like, okay, whatever questions we didn't get answered in Endgame, we're hoping are gonna get answered in Far From Home, yeah. but at the very least, it'll be a send-off to everything that's happened for the last 10 years. What's that pressure like? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... I was one of the people who like knew everything that was going to happen in Infinity War and Endgame. <laughs> and this is an interview with the Russos where they were saying that Endgame was the first movie where they didn't have to worry about the future of the Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, great, guys, thanks, but I do. <laughs> so just as I, you know, as I was finding out all the crazy things that they were doing, I was like, mm-hmm, okay, so half of the universe disappears, okay, and then they come back five years later, okay, okay. How are we going to deal with that, okay? <laughs> you know, it... it it's fun. It's like mm -hmm. a really creative challenge to um, deal with all these all these big issues while still maintaining the tone of your own movie. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things I kind of want to point out too. You know, before, before I jet out of here, that's, that's one of the cool things I want to point out too. Because that was a question that I sort of had. Is it was like, okay, how do we explain this five year gap? If a lot of people <laughs> seem to kind of look the same, and yeah. we get an explanation like that, that's perfect. Yeah. So. Hey, it's cool news. It's like Flight of the Navigator. Remember Flight of the Navigator? I I, I remember, but I never actually saw it. Oh yeah, this is really like there's a part where the kid goes into um, the woods and he's abducted by aliens and comes back and he's the same age, but mm -hmm. like many years have passed. Okay. So his little brother's like older than him. So I always went back to that as like, how weird would that be? You know? Dude, it worked too, man. It was yeah. it was amazing. Like Betty says, it's just math. Just math. Yeah. <laughs> well, John, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Great this to was meet awesome. You. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot, man. Glad you liked the movie. Yeah.